Hey tires, Darren here. Welcome back to another fly tying tutorial. Today we're going to be tying a pattern I call the Kamala Scud. This is a fairly simple little scud pattern. It's modeled after a Gamma Scud. These are the bigger ones that you'll find in amongst the weeds and the rocks of lakes and ponds. I tied this in a number of different colors including this olive. I also do some darker and some lighter olive colors. When you are collecting the scuds you'll see quite a variety in the colors that they present. Quick shout out to Joe for suggesting we do a scud pattern sometime soon. So here it is Joe, hope you enjoy it. So let's take a look at the material list and get started. Let's get a fresh hook in the vise. I'm using a Mustad C49S today. And this one's a size 10. And the thread I'm using is the Dark Olive Flymaster. We'll just start by putting on a little bit of thread behind the eye, laying down a bit of a base. And we'll take that back up almost to the eye. Trim off that tag end. I'm using a, a scud back material. This is the Superfly. This color is the olive. And you can change the color just to change the color of the uh, scud. I find when I've uh, gone hunting for scuds, you find quite a variety of colors even within the same uh, substrate. Find some light, some darker. So I think it's good to have a variety of colors. Next I'm going to tie in a piece of wire. Now I tie normally with copper wire but a few of these I've done I'll do with a uh, black wire just to kind of help give it a bit more pronounced segmentation so just know that that's in in the mix if you want I'm just going to put a copper on here today I'm going to try and tie that a little bit to the side and on the bottom here and then next we're going to tie in a peak uh, an ostrich hurl So I'm just going to take one of these, and this one is just a kind of a standard olive, maybe a golden olive, and this just kind of helps suggest a little bit more movement in the fly, and we'll tie that in there. So next I'm going to add a little bit of weight to this fly. And the way that I like to do it is, uh, first of all, I'm going to grab an old pair of scissors. So this is one that I've used quite a bit. It's still got a little bit of life in it. So I'm going to start by coming back from the eye a little bit, wrapping on a piece of weight over the back, kind of... Uh, Just want to get that on top of the hook shank as much as possible. Make sure that's wrapped down. And then in between the the wire and the hook shank, I'm gonna fit the next piece right in there. Again, we'll come on a bit of an angle just to help taper that into the body and then I'm going to add one more piece on the other side and again this one's just going to be in between the wire and the um, hook shank 
and we'll cut that on an angle. So why do I do that rather than just wrap the hook? Well, I want most of the weight to be on the top of the hook. If I wrap it, I'll have weight, equal weight on the bottom and on the top. And what I want this fly to do, I want it to turn upside down, keel over as soon as it goes in the water. And that, just putting the weight on the back like that helps achieve that. So, we've got a nicely weighted fly here. Next I'm going to add a little bit of uh, my diamond dub. So, and this is color, let's see, DD126, which is golden brown, I believe. Um, but you can use any color that you'd like. I like the contrast of the gold brown color with a little bit of olive in there in the legs. So all we're going to do with that, got a little bit of a clump, we will just twist that on. We want it to be heaviest around the middle, a little lighter near the tail and the head. Looks good. Just going to pull that back from the eye of the hook. So, next, I'm going to take my peacock curl. I'm going to start wrapping that just in open loops like you would be tying a woolly bugger. We'll tie that off at the eye. Make sure you fold that back. And then I'm going to pull over the scud back here. And before I lay it down, I'm just going to Pull all the fibers off the back just because we want all those coming forward. And you don't want to stretch that too much, just a little bit, just to help give it some translucence. I'm going to take three wraps here. Then I'm going to pull the scud back out of the way. Put a couple thread wraps just to kind of jam that in there. And then we're just going to cut that off. I don't mind having a little bit of a tag. Just uh, it's a bit of a security so that your scud back doesn't snap off there. So next we're going to take our wire, be it copper or black, and we're just going to wiggle that through. Try not to trap down any of those ostrich fibers. Then we'll get to the head. Wrap that off a few times. Make sure you go on both sides of that wire so that it's really locked in place. Helicopter off your copper wire. And we'll add a couple, we'll add a whip finish on top. And if you want, you can add one in front here as well. And add one more. And 
And so one last thing that you can do is just give this a bit of a brush. Kind of tease out a little bit of the legs a little bit more. A little bit of the dubbing. See how that forms a nice scud shape there. You don't want the dubbing too, too long on there. So if I do get some that's a little bit longer, just kind of pinch it. There you go. Camelus scud. Hey fly tires, thanks for stopping by and watching my fly tying videos. Make sure you're subscribed and hit that bell icon to get notified on the latest fly patterns, tips, and reviews. If you've enjoyed the video, hit that like button and post a comment below. If you'd like to support the content on the channel and get rewarded, you can visit my Patreon page. Until next time, this is Darren saying, keep a hook in your vice. Cheers.